Hey everyone, it's Greg here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about ranking delays and, and link delays as well, because they kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, something that if you're not aware of, it can be extremely frustrating. I actually experienced it myself. Um, but you know, with my data that, that I've got now uh, over the last few months, I'm really starting to understand uh, the ranking delays more and link delays more. So I just want to explain that to you guys, because once you know. Uh, kind of the process of, of these ranking and link delays or at least the general guidelines that I'm about to lay out it can make things a lot better on you whereas if you don't know what's going on you can get extremely frustrated uh, it can cause you to give up it can cause you to make moves that you shouldn't make um, you know as far as SEO or, or business so it, it's really important that you understand this stuff and you you believe in it because I do have data to back it up all right so the first thing is new websites it seems like they get put in some type of sandbox, okay? And again, it makes sense. If I was Google, I would honestly do the same thing. They they are by far the best search engine out there. Um, they already have good search results. So why would they risk making their search results worse by putting new sites up there right away, okay? They want new sites to gain trust before they rank them, all right? And that's a lot of times a new site will not be able to appear on the first page within the first month, two months, sometimes three months. And it, it really depends on, you know, the quality of links going to this, on how quick it happens. It seems like it, it depends on the quality of links going to the site, how good your on-page optimization is. Of course, the competition level. You know, lower competition level, you can probably get to the first page in under a month. Um, but... You know, the higher up you go in competition, the longer it's going to take because, again, they don't they don't want new websites being able to go right to the top um, right away. I mean, it just doesn't make sense for them with where their business is to do that, okay? So just know when you have a new website, it's... You know, if it's even if it's low competition, you might put up the site, it might pop up to, you know, page 3, 4, 5 right away, but don't be surprised if it sits there for a month or two, okay? It's not, that's not uncommon. Um, and the other side of that is links going to the site, which which I'll talk about in just a minute. But just know that when you have a new site, it's going to take time for that site to move up, okay? You're going to do certain things. You're going to expect movement, and it's not going to happen very quickly, you know, if it's a new site. Um, if it's a more established site, you're usually going to see movement quicker, but... That also has to do with the links, which I want to go into now. So the way that I've been seeing it working is how quick a link kicks in depends on the trust of the site you're linking to and then also the trust of the link that you're linking from. Okay, So if you have a brand new website that's being linked to from a trusted link, let's say, good to page authority, good to main authority, that on average seems to be taking about 30 days to kick in. Okay. Now, there's also, you know, there's so many aspects of, of what could be going on behind the scenes. That it, could, it could be longer, it could be shorter, but generally I'm seeing new website, good quality link is taking about a month to kick in, all right? So after, you know, a lot of times when I have a new website and I build a link to it from, from a good quality link source, I will see movement usually at right around the 30-day mark, but sometimes it's, sometimes it's two months, sometimes it's 14 days, you know, sometimes it's stuff in between. So it, that could have to do, as, along with the new website thing, some type of randomization factor or just factors that I haven't caught on to yet. But it's important to know that there is that delay there, and it's especially there for new websites. All right. The other part is, of course, the trust. If you have a a link that's not that good going to a, a site that's brand new, you might not see results from it for two, three months. Uh, and, and they may not be that good. And they may not be that good for your website, of course. So you want to stick to those high-quality links as much as you can. Now, on the other side of this, I have, you know, expired domains and stuff like that. Or, you know, just established websites that already have that trust and domain authority. When I send a trustworthy link to those, sometimes I'm seeing movement within a day, two days. And that will still build over time. Like, you know, I'll see movement within a day or two, three days, something like that. And then I'll see some more movement, you know, a week or two later, stuff like that. So, so again, it's just, I think the biggest factor is how much trust the website has and then all and also how much trust the 
link that is linking to website has. You know what I mean? It's, it's a mixture of the two. And on top of that, again, I think there may be some type of randomization factor in. Uh, and, and it would make sense because it would really throw things off for SEOs. I mean, the normal SEO, whereas, you know, someone says, well, you know, there's a 30-day ranking delay on new sites now because they, they don't understand, they don't have data, they're just kind of going off you know, maybe a couple projects they did or something, or, or what all other people are saying. And someone comes in the forums and they say, you know, there's a 30-day linking delay. I did a link, 30 days later, I moved up. You know, it, it's it's 30 days. Whereas someone else says, no, 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 that's not true. I did a link and it took three months to kick in. And someone else says, well, neither of those are true because I did a link and it kicked in within seven days. It, so there could be also some type of randomization factor in where, you know, if you when you get a new website up, maybe they have a randomization where you know this site is in the sandbox for somewhere between a variable of seven days to two months, and that's something they could be doing. I mean, it's not going to hurt them to do that because if the site really is trustworthy, it's eventually going to climb like it should. But at the same time, their search results are already the best in the world. Why are they going to risk di diminishing them by? putting websites that aren't trusted in there you know I don't blame them for doing that so it could be some type of randomization thing but there's definitely a delay going on it definitely has to do with the trust of the website how new it is and also the trust of the link because when I send trustworthy links to trustworthy websites that are established I see movement usually pretty quick all right whereas on the other end if I send a trustworthy link to a brand new website it can take it's usually taking on average a month to move and then it can move you know a little more throughout the next month after that so you know it could take two three months to fully kick in so these things are very important to understand because even myself, uh, you know, I was aware of the linking delay, but I wasn't aware of these details until I got the data. You know, the way I work is until I see it with my own data, I don't, I don't really believe it. So now that I'm actually seeing it with my data and I can kind of pinpoint certain things like this, now it makes sense. Whereas, you know, a lot of projects in the last couple of months were actually pretty frustrating for me uh, because I just wasn't seeing the type of movement as quick as I'm used to seeing and because you know, this ranking delay is fairly new uh, you know a few months old now and uh, it just depends on again what type of site because you know I would have these sites that were established where they're moving up super quick then I have my new sites where it's just like they weren't moving and I'm like what the heck is going on so I've definitely confirmed now because I see you know I started some sites three months ago two months ago and I can see the pattern where Generally, after a month of linking, they start to move up. Um, it generally, again, some of them it was two months, some of them it was months, some in between. It just depends on, I guess, it could be a randomization factor. It could be how trustworthy those links were. Could have a little bit to do with on-page optimization. But the big picture is the knowing the delay is there. Okay, because if you start doing links to your site and you see no movement, you know, after like three weeks or something, and it's a newer site, and you're like, what, do I have my own page wrong? Like, do I have something wrong? You got to just wait. You know, it's just, it's just a part of the process now. Uh, just follow what we tell you to do with on-page optimization and the way you do your links, and you, you have a very, very good chance of ranking overall. It's just going to take a little longer for those new sites, all right? So uh, that's what I have on it now. As I get more data come in, if I get any more news on like you know I specific I, I specify uh, certain time frames with with certain stuff if anything changes like that I'll let you know but that's what I got right now and you know hopefully it helps you uh, not go crazy and, and uh, lose your mind when your site's not moving when you would expect it to because again this is fairly new especially those of you who have been around SEO it may be frustrating I know it was for me but now I just accept it you know just if, if you're doing a new site it's gonna take a little longer to rank do things as planned, stick to the plan, it's going to rank eventually, and I'm seeing that with all my newer sites now that I'm, that I'm using as test sites, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you soon.